Hello, my name is Theo van Krij and I'm a program manager in the Azure Cosmos DB team. I'm going to show you how to change your partition key in Azure Cosmos DB. In this video, I'm going to assume that you already know about partitioning in Azure Cosmos DB and you've come here because you're looking for a way of changing the partition key you've already defined in a collection or collections within an Azure Cosmos DB SQL API database account. Of course, technically there is no way of changing the partition key in a collection, but you can achieve the same effect by leveraging the Azure Cosmos DB change feed and bulk support. In this demo, I'm going to use a sample app called Azure Cosmos DB Live Migrator that you can easily deploy to Azure using an ARM template. We will look at a couple of scenarios. Firstly, a simple scenario with no synthetic keys where you just want to change the field that is defined as the partition key and rebalance the data accordingly. And either you're not concerned about tracking deletes that happen when you're doing the migration or you've implemented soft deletes and TTL already. Secondly, we will look at a more complex scenario where your collection maintains a synthetic key and you want to change the basis of the mapping in that key. Plus, you need to track deletes when doing the migration and you've not implemented soft deletes and TTL already. Before we go ahead, let's deploy the Live Migrator app. I have blogged about using this sample, so you can check that out at our blogging site with the link you see here if you prefer. This video is a demo version of that blog. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the link to open the ARM template. I'm going to create a resource group. I'm going to select an Azure region. I'm going to create a name for my Migrator app. I'm going to select an existing Cosmos DB account and I'm going to define a name for the metadata database and collection that will be used by the Migrator app. I'm also going to define a name for the App Insights component. So I'm going to use a bit of the magic of YouTube here to just speed along the deployment. Of course, it might take a little bit longer for you. So it looks like our Migrator app is deployed and we're good to go. So let's start with a simple scenario. You just want to change the field that is used as the partition key in your collection. You have no complications like synthetic keys or needing to track deletes. Just to be clear, the change feed process that we are leveraging will not track documents that are deleted in the source collection after the process has started running. But if you've implemented soft deletes or tracking deletes is not necessary for other reasons, then this scenario will be fine for you. So let's have a look. So here we are back at our app. Let's click on the app client. We can browse the app deployed to Azure. This is my Migrator app that I'm going to use in a minute. We'll come back to that later. So I've got a collection here called Telemetry. And you can see here I've partitioned by date and you can see all of the values are the same. So this isn't a very evenly partitioned collection. I've decided I want to change the basis of the partitioning to use device instead. So I've already created a target collection called Telemetry V2. And you can see I've partitioned that by device, but there's no data in there. And I just need to migrate the data from one collection to another. I've defined a leases collection partitioned by ID that my change feed process in the Migrator app is going to use. So in my Migrator app, I'm going to fill in the credentials here. Telemetry was the source collection, remember. And all of the other credentials are pretty much the same, except for the target collection, which is telemetry v2. And of course, I can fill in the same credentials for my leases collection. So I can start the migration here. So it looks like that migration is finished. Of course, there's only a few documents. This is just for illustration purposes. Let me go into my target collection. You can see the data has been migrated and that's much more evenly balanced. If I go into my source collection, if I add a record here, and save it, if I now go to my target collection, I should see that that has been replicated across because the Migrator app is still using change feed to replicate data. And I can see it reflected in the Migrator app if I refresh. 
I'm going to click on complete migration. When I do that, it will stop replicating data from source to target collection. Okay, so let's move on to our complex scenario. This is where we've got synthetic keys that we need to change the basis of the mapping in, and we need to enable soft deletes and TTL. So again, we have our telemetry collection. But this time, if I go into a record, I want to concatenate date and device into a dedicated synthetic partition key. So I've created a telemetry v2, but I've defined partition key as a new field and the basis for my partitioning. In my source collection, I've switched off time to live. And in my target collection, I'm going to switch it on. Ordinarily, if you were using TTL for soft deletes, it would always be switched on in the source collection too. But I want to make sure that deletes are captured and then reflected in the target collection. So I'm just going to fill in all the credentials and use a bit of magic to speed it up. And this time in my source partition key attributes, I'm defining date and device separated by comma. And partition key is the target. Looks like that's migrated. So let's have a look. And we can see there it's concatenated the two values. If I go to my source collection and I now set TTL on one of the records, I should see that that record disappears in my target collection. And that's how I can track deletes when necessary. Of course, your application needs to be changed to reflect the use of setting TTL with respect to soft deletes. And that's it. Hope it was useful. <laughs>